Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a review on this Ninja Foodi Digital Air Fry Oven. So this is a really nice product, very easy to use. It's got a very nice control panel. You're going to plug it in, you're going to turn it on. This is a selector wheel. So the screen is very easy to read and you're, it's got a little light here to show you what you're going to be doing. So say you're going to go to bake, then you got to press the time button or the temperature to change. So say we want to do bake, but we want to change the temperature, then you're going to use this. You can go up to 450, all the way down to 250, and then you can change the time in minutes. And then say we want to do something else, turn it on and off. Let's go to bake, dehydrate, keep warm. Now toast is real interesting. So to change the darkness, you're going to press this button again, and you can go to all these different darknesses, and then you're going to tell it how many slices of toast you have in there. So this is a toaster also. Turn it on again, just very easy to operate. And then when you're ready, so say I want on bake, I set my temperature to 350, I set my time to 14 minutes, just press this, this is start. It's got a little pre, that means it's preheating. If you need to pause it, just press the button again, that pauses it, and then you can start it up again. So there's even a light inside. You can turn it on with this button right here that turns that light on and off. So what makes this so versatile is being able to lift it up out of the way. It's got a base that stays put. So I'm able to lift it up. That way it doesn't take up as much counter space. This also gives you access to kind of a hidden area to clean. If you press this little button right here, we can, there can be some more crumbs down in here. This, so this is another area that's nice to clean, that you can clean. Then when you're ready, just lower it down, and, and then you're ready to use it. Here's what it looks like around back. Okay, so now let's open it up. It's got this really nice handle, spring-loaded, it stays down. So we've got this wire rack, we've got this air fryer basket, which is a really nice addition. This is also an air fryer. You've got this cooking pan. This is a non-stick surface that cleans up very easy. Then you've got this wire rack. So the wire rack should always be installed in the lower position if you're going to use this cooking sheet so that the, it, it rests on the wire rack. And then here's our heating elements down here at the bottom. And you can also remove, this is called a crumb tray. You can remove this. But we can install the wire rack on the top one. And the cooking sheet will go on the top, but you probably won't put it there most of the time. You're going to keep the wire rack probably on the bottom one. And then when you got it all installed, just use the handle. This seals real nice and it looks really nice and very easy to use. So I love Ninja that they send these really nice diagrams and these pictures. It kind of shows you all the different, you got air fry, air roast, air boil, bake, toast, bagel, dehydrate, and keep warm. And it kind of shows you how, what pans to use in what location and kind of what settings to use. So this is really nice. And on the back of this, they have a big air frying chart. And it also does come with a manual that kind of talks about it also. Okay, so I've got this DiGiorno margarita pizza. Let's make it in this Ninja air fryer oven. So I'm going to turn it on, make sure I select it to bake. Now the directions on the box said bake it at one, uh, 375, so I'm going to hit the temperature button and go to 375. And it said to bake it for 17 minutes, so let's go down to 17 minutes. Now I'm going to hit start. Now it's going to preheat the oven, so the preheat's saying preheat. And I'm only going to have the wire rack installed. I'm not going to bake. You could put it on the pan, the sheet pan itself, but I'm going to put it right on the wire rack. Okay, so a round back. This has to be one of the quietest units I've ever heard. It's very quiet. This back does get a little bit of warm, but I don't feel a bunch of air rushing out that's warm. Now be careful. The top of it does get pretty warm. Okay, so it's been cooking for about three minutes. Okay, so it's been cooking for about seven minutes. It smells really good. Okay, so it's got about three minutes left to go. I can definitely tell the crust is getting done. The cheese is really starting to melt. Okay, so there's about a minute left to go. It's looking like it's really doing good. Now, when you turn the light on, it does shut off automatically after a, it stays on, I think, for about a minute or two, but then it will shut off automatically. Okay, so it's just got a couple seconds left. 
Okay, so it does beep at you and it says end and it's still hot. So let's go ahead and turn it off. Let's lower this. You're gonna wanna get another pan to put it on. Wow, that did a really good job. And it didn't burn the bottom of the crust, but the bottom of the crust is done. So yeah, this did a really good job with this pizza. So the things that impressed me the most with this are it, the preheat does not take very long at all. It is very quick, but how quiet it is. It is very, very quiet in op when it's in operation. All you can hear is kind of like a constant fan noise, but it's a very low noise. And it is so versatile with air fryer, air roast, bake, keep warm. The toast and the bagel works really well. So I really hope this video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.